Hi there, here's the newly launched Mi TV 4X 55 inches. This is a 4K TV which comes with Android 9 OS out of the box. Official Netflix, Amazon Prime, Play Store, you name the app and it has it. Almost. I did an unboxing and overview video. If you'd like to see it, you can click the card up here to see that video. I'm making this video in Hindi as well. If you want to see it, you'll find the link in the description. In this video, we're going to do an in-depth review and I'll let you know whether you should buy this or not. But before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any video updates. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. Before we begin, I'll be clearing some doubts that many of you have asked me about the Mi TV 4X 55 inches. So let's begin. First, is this a VA panel or an IPS panel? This is a VA panel. Does Netflix and Amazon Prime app come pre-installed? Yes, Netflix and Amazon Prime app come pre-installed, but you will need subscription to watch the content from these apps. Third, can you sideload apps on the Mi TV 4X 55 inches? Yes, you can sideload apps. I have sideloaded Movie HD app, but you can't see it in the app launcher. So you need to install an ATV launcher from the Play Store. When you open that app, you can see all your third-party sideloaded apps. Let's have a quick look at the specifications. Amlogic quad-core CPU, 4K HDR VA panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels, 2GB RAM and 8GB internal storage, Bluetooth 4.2, 20W sound output, Android 9 Pie, Google Play Store, official Netflix and Amazon Prime app support. Overall build quality is average if not the best, better than most TVs at this price point. The bezels are thin and greyish in color and they look quite nice. Accessing the ports is quite convenient when placed on the table. Some ports are on the right while some are behind. When wall mounted, it does get very difficult to access the ones behind, but the ones we regularly use like the HDMI and USB are easily reachable. Unfortunately, no 3.5 headphone jack, but thanks to Bluetooth and SPDI of Digital Out, you can connect it to Bluetooth headphones or your home theater system. But somehow I'm not totally convinced. A 3.5 headphone jack is a must. It's a TV and not a phone where you're struggling for space to fit a 3.5 headphone jack. Anyway, moving to the biggest hardware on the device, the display. The device has a VA panel with a 4K resolution of 3840 by 2160 pixels. Here is a 4K video playing on YouTube. The video is playing at 4K without any lag or buffer. VA panels usually produce vivid colors and deeper blacks and this one doesn't disappoint. The images are sharp, text is crisp. The only con of the VA panel is that they suffer from poor viewing angles. So if you move towards the sides, you notice a change in color slightly. But it's not drastic and probably you wouldn't notice if I didn't tell you. The color reproduction is genuinely impressive. The brightness levels are also good. In fact, the backlight can be decreased to 50 to avoid strain and you will have an amazing viewing experience as well. On the display front, the device stands solid. Let's check out the setup box quality. We shall start with the SD channels and then move to the HD channels. So here are the SD channels and they look pretty good. The TV also comes with DNR, which is digital noise reduction, and it helps improve lower quality content. So if you don't have an HD setup box, you don't need to worry. The channels are quite clear and have a decent viewing experience. Here's a look at the replay of Burn. This was a ridiculous yeah, That was Burn going around the outside of Freeze. And here are the HD channels from the setup box and they look absolutely brilliant. The details in the images are sharp and clear. I highly recommend you have a HD setup box to fully enjoy the best viewing experience. Let's play a 4K video sample from the pen drive. Here is a 4K video playing from the pen drive and they play flawlessly. MKV, MP4, MOV, all formats work without any problems. I highly recommend you install the VLC player from the Play Store. 4K videos look absolutely gorgeous on this huge display. It's a delight. Let's play Netflix. And finally, we have the official Netflix app. The interface is smooth and easy to navigate. It has a huge collection of 4K and HDR content. Playing a 4K video and it looks absolutely stunning. Here is an HDR video sample and this is where we see it struggle. Not that great. However, 4K and Full HD videos are a visual delight. 
Moving to Amazon Prime and it plays perfectly well. Yes, it plays 4K content as well without any hiccups. You can also change and add subtitles and change the font sizes very conveniently. Play Store has tons of apps. All popular streaming apps are easily available, tested Hotstar, Z5, Geocinema and many more and they all worked well. There are also many official games available. You will need a gamepad to play some of them. I'll leave the link in the description for the gamepad. If you'd like to buy one, do check it out. MeTV also comes with Patchworld which is where app content is integrated and segregated into tile formats. You can browse through content from Amazon Prime, Z5, Eros Now and so many more. In the settings, you will find the data saver mode. Data saver mode is ideally designed to reduce data consumption when it's connected via your mobile hotspot. This is really handy for those who don't have access to Wi-Fi and connect their smartphones via the mobile hotspots and don't want to exhaust their mobile data. This is a very helpful feature. Since it's an Android TV, it comes with Chromecast built in. Let's check it out. Open YouTube. Click on the cast icon on the top. Make sure the TV and mobile are connected on the same Wi-Fi network. There you go. You can pause, you can play, you can move the video further or back directly from your phone. Hi there. If you want to mirror your Android phone, download the Google Home app. Click on mirror device. There you go. Make sure your TV and mobile are on the same Wi-Fi network. The remote comes with Netflix and Amazon Prime hotkeys for quick access. Google Voice Search is also available on the remote to search for content easily. You can even mute the device directly using the Google Voice Search. Very handy. Coming to the sound. It has a 20 watt speaker with Dolby DTS support. The sound output gets really loud. The audio quality is decent. The bass isn't that great, but highs and mids are good. Don't expect them to sound like a soundbar, but surely they won't disappoint either. Connect them to the Mi soundbar and the sound was richer and cleaner and much more entertaining. The soundbar is priced at 4999 and now it's available in black. Totally recommended. I'll leave the link below. If you'd like to buy it, do check it out. So Android TV 9 has many more features which are not possible to cover in this one video. I've made a video for tips and tricks for Android TV 9. You can click the card up here to see that video. I'll also leave the link of the video in the description. The Mi TV 4X 55 inch is a complete package. I've been using this over two weeks and it's been a good experience. We have the latest Android 9 OS, Play Store, all the popular apps and games, light and easy to use remote, all that for just 34,999. I can't even nitpick the cons at this price. It's currently the only 55 inch Android TV selling at that price. If you're looking for the big Android TV for your home under 35,000, this one is just the best option. If you want to see it before you want to buy it, you can go to any of the Mi stores and get a hands-on experience. You can buy it from there. Also, I'll leave the link in the description. Do check it out. So I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and give me your feedback. Also, if there are any questions, feel free to mention them down. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.